Hello everyone, welcome to our today's video on Mediculture. I'm Dr. Rakhi Dash, Assistant Professor, Aquaculture Department, Sage University, Bhopal. Today I'm discussing with you the open ocean mariculture. What is mariculture? We can define the mariculture as the cultivation, management, and harvesting of marine organisms in their natural environment, such as estuary, brackish water, coastal, and offshore waters. Difference between mariculture and aquaculture. Generally, aquaculture represents the culture and harvesting of aquatic organisms, both freshwater and marine water body. And mariculture represents the culture and harvesting of aquatic organisms, only marine water body. If you look at this picture, then you can identify the generic mariculture. Generally, generic mariculture are differentiated into three groups. One is coastal mariculture, second one is off the coast mariculture, and third one is offshore mariculture. Basically, different type of parameters are followed when different type of genetic mariculture are applied in the different regions of India. Types of mariculture. Marine fishery is associate, associated with the culture and capture of fishes in marine waters. Fishes being the foremost component of marine food webs serve as a food for marine mammals. Apart from its role in marine environment, fish also serve as a significant source of protein in human and animal diets, both the rural and urban populations. Fisheries sector greatly contribute in provide livelihood to millions of people directly and indirectly, income generation and offer foreign exchange also. Overall, the marine catch accounts for 17% of the global animal protein consumptions. So different type of mariculture are practices in the different regions of India, like uh, culture of aquatic organisms in marine ponds, uh, sea case farming, long line farming, raceway farming, hatcheries, integrated multi-topic aquaculture, and recycling aquaculture systems also. Now I'm coming with the point of the commercially important marine species. Generally, India marine fishery is a fast developing sector with significant growth potential and plays a vital role in the foreign exchange. India has a vast coastline of 8,118 kilometers and exclusive economy, economic zone, uh, which called EEZ, uh, which was 2.02 uh, million square kilometer and more than 1 billion people, nearly 20% people live in the coastal areas and they are engaged with this marine fisheries. Generally, marine fishers like cloopies, whale sardines, mackerels, bombay ducks, silver relish, uh, shows and mallets are the important main species. According to Ilasmo Banks, according to Ilasmo Banks groups, uh, generally sharks, guitar fishers, eskies, rays and chimeras are the important species. More than 155 species of illustrious banks are found in the India. The smallest shark found in the Indian water, which is called Eridecnis red clay pay, and the largest shark, ring, uh, ring cotton typus, are found in the Indian water body. Uh, crustaceans, India is one of the major contributors of many crustacean in the world market. Crustacean fishes consist of pinny prawns and non pinny prawn also. Uh, Mullas, this group represent gastropod and bivalves, uh, mainly clams, mussels, edible oysters, and pearl oyster that mainly feed on dead and decayed matter, algae, polychaetes, and phytoplankton also. This is the production rate data. Uh, according to the APO, uh, marine fish landings in India 2021 data was represented here. Uh, generally, uh, in, in India 2021, 3.05 uh, million tons production rate are found from the marine water body. And Guzad was the leading uh, state which uh, contributed more marine fisheries in India. And second was uh, second one was uh, West Bengal, and uh, third one is Daman Diu, Odisha, Maharashtra, then Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Puducherry, Kerala, and Tamil Nadu are uh, uh, produce their production rate. 
benefits of mediculture operation expenditure operational expenditure efficient economical and fast growth process that provides significantly low operational cost compared to other methods of fish farming capital expenditure significantly low setup investment while taking into account the, account the growing capacity uh, compared to other methods of the fish farming maintain the natural quality was as a healthy and tastier product with higher nutrition values and better quality which may be offered at a premium price out of different of the various be different of the of the a different type of the species due to its capabilities like size modularity versatility uh, survivability open sea environment etc create a new sector consistent supply supply different products support ecology sustainable durable and also utilizes the natural resources The future research topics on mariculture. Number one is ecosystem impacts, wildlife impacts on coastal and marine ecosystem, coastal darkening, increased toxicity of metal pollution due to ocean acidification, equatorial marine communities are becoming depressure due to the climate migrations, effects of altered nutritional content of fish due to climate change, resource exploitation, the untrapped potential of marine collagens and their impacts on marine ecosystems, impacts of expanding trade for fish swim bladders on target and non-target species, impacts of fishing for mesopelagic studies on the biologic ocean palm, ocean palm extraction of extraction of li uh, lithium uh, from deep sea fishes, new technologies like uh, collection of marine activities, floating marine cities, trace element contamination, compounded by the global transition to green technology, new underwater tracking system to study non-surfacing marine animals, shop robotics for marine research, the effects of the new biodegradable matter in the marine environment also. Thank you everyone for listening to me. Stay tuned and subscribe to our Sage University Bhopal page.